Hello, Wealth Hackers. Well, it's time for another weekly Wealth Insight. I want to share with you one of the greatest gifts I've ever learned. And I learned it from a guy called Tony Robbins back in 2010. My philosophy in life was always to work harder than anyone else. So at school, I wasn't the brightest, but I worked harder than anyone else. On the sports pitch, the rugby pitch or whatever, I wasn't the most talented, but I was always the fittest. And in business, it was exactly the same. My philosophy was I'll outlearn you, I'll outwork you. In 2009, I got to a ceiling of complexity. I just could not work any harder to get the results that I want. And I went along to this event called Business Mastery by Tony Robbins. You had to apply for it. I always remember it was like applying to go to Harvard for me. You know, it was really important to me. It cost about $15,000 to go, just to go to the course. I still had to fly there and accommodation and everything in between. And I learned this simple gift that Tony Robbins taught me. And it's been literally a game changer for me. You know, one of those life-changing lessons that you learn. And I just want to share it with you quickly. So the first thing that Tony Robbins taught was that the first type of person out there is a dabbler. You know, they want to go and learn something new. And, you know, let's, let's just use sport because most people understand sport. So they want to go and learn tennis. And they go and they get some lessons and they start learning tennis. And they immediately start to get some results. But the problem is, is that like anything in life, you get quick results, but then it gets hard and you kind of drop down and they, they stop. They're like, you know, tennis, tennis is a rubbish sport. I tell you what, I'm going to take up golf. And so they go out and they get some lessons and they learn how to play golf and they're enjoying it and it's new and they're out there and, and then it gets hard again. And so they're like, ah, golf, rubbish, you know, I'm going to stop golf, you know. And then they're like, oh, maybe, maybe I should go play squash or paddle or something. And they go get some more lessons and they, you know, same, same pattern over and over again. Now, it's the same in investing. You know, in investing, people are one day they're day traders. The next moment, they're stock market investors. The next moment, they're crypto investors. The next moment, they're real estate investors. It just doesn't work. They never, ever get to success. The second type of person, well, they're the stressor. And they're the person that goes out there and they learn and they stress 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 and they, stress and they go on a course and they read books and they get a coach and they get a degree and they work and work and work and work and they stress and stress and stress and they break through. And it's super exciting, ladies and gentlemen, because they break through the next level. And then they hit another ceiling of complexity and what do they do? They stress and 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 they go on another course and they get another degree and they go and learn more things and they break through. And you know, personally, I was one of these people. You know, I've got hundreds and hundreds of books <laughs> falling all over the place on financials and investing. And I spent 14 years, I've got two degrees, honors and masters, cum laude. I've done a, a business school, the top one in, in South Africa in terms of property development. I've done CRS, which is the top one out of America. I've got AIPP out of England, the top one out of England. You know, there's no more courses I could have done because I was the stressor. I just consistently was going out there trying to learn more, 14 years, do it all on my own. And then in 2010, like I said to you, Tony Robbins gave me this gift. And it said the simple way to get what you want in life is mastery. And how do you do that? Well, if this is you over here and you want to get to, to being this person over here, then you literally need to model people along the way because success leaves clues. And so you can literally copy people in terms of getting the results. And, you know, this is the, this is the path to mastery. And what was fascinating is for me, this was a complete game changer for me because I realized I didn't need to learn it all myself. I could literally go out and, and model and master what others were already doing. And then, you know, in 2014, I actually realized there was even a better way, which was partnership. Rather than just learning from them, the fastest way to results was actually to partner with them. And, you know, I share this with you, this, this slide, when I do day one of the challenge. And I'll share it with you now quickly. You know, you've got this, this training effect where you've got three types of people. You've got the dabblers. Then you've got the stressors who, you know, I'll find a way. And then you've got mastery. And that's where they expect problems. They find a pathway. They look for the easiest way. They look for others who have done it. And success leaves crews when it comes to modeling. And the reason I got Richard Branson there as a picture is that I think we can all safely say that if you're trying to run a business and Richard Branson came in and sat in a boardroom with you, you'd be far more successful. I mean, he's, he's done it 400 times in business. Eight of them have been billion dollar businesses in different sectors. And so if you're over here, and Richard Branson is over here in business, then the chances are you're going to be a lot more successful if you copy people like him all the way through, or ideally you even partner directly with 
Richard Branson. Yeah, when it comes to investing, you've got someone like Ray Dalio who's sitting up here. And again, you can couple, copy and model and master all the way through, or you can even try and try and partner through it. And so that's my, my wealth insight for you. You know, are you going to be a dabbler? Are you going to be a stressor? Or are you going to be a master? Which one do you commit to? You know, I personally know that the dabbler and Wilson has a beautiful thing. It's, it's like uh, octopus on roller skates. Like they're going all over the place. They never, ever achieve anything. They're always trying to read a new book and go on a new course, but they never actually implement anything. They never get results. The stressor, they do get results, but they often try and do it all on their own. And it's extremely difficult and it's extremely hard. And life is just tough. And then you've got the master. And they get the results in the easiest, safest, and simplest way. And whether you copy others and try and do it on your own, or whether you partner with people, you know, from my experience, this is the best way to get results. And so I hope you enjoy that. If you do, subscribe to the channel. This is what the Wealth Hackers is all about. It's about mastery. It's about growth. It's about knowledge. It's about working with like-minded people. But most importantly, it's about getting results. I hope that you share this with others as well. Leave your comments below. I'd love to know, are you a dabbler? Are you a stressor? Are you a master? Maybe you acknowledge like me that you were a stressor. Today, up till today, you were a stressor, but you're going to commit to mastery going forward. And most importantly, you know, my philosophy is we want to help everybody to be able to invest like the top 1%. It all starts with having the right belief and mindset and then having the knowledge. And hopefully this little journey that I've guided you on can share with you how you can achieve what you want in your life simply and safely, no matter what it is, whether it's wealth, health, money, relationships, whatever it is. Some of the best advice I ever learned. And as I said to you, it was life changing for me and I wanted to share it with you. Till next week, have an awesome time. Cheers.